Okay, game one. Rumi versus Kook. Rumi took the stock super quick. I missed exactly what happened, but um, get this game. Only has 50% on him, so that's pretty good. I'm actually going to sell this one because it makes it easier for me. That's fine. Don't want to get caught in the wires is the thing. Be careful for that. Okay, yeah. Rumi juggling this guy. Uh, Koopo, Mario. Um, Pokemon Trainer probably. Ivysaur probably destroys Mario. Um, getting, having that great projectile on the Razor Leaf. Um, I mean, Mario can reflect it, but his reflector, he's not going to be able to follow up off of it too much because it has a good amount of lag. Um, the best thing Mario can do probably is approach with like an aerial fireball, hope it hits, and then get a good follow up off of that. Um, or get these space back airs. Those are also good. Up B, he waits for it. Uh, he probably could have got something off that Razor Leaf. It was right next to him. And you can true combo like up air or sometimes uh, you're up B into from Razor Leaf. Ooh, Upo is actually a pro player. He's just tilting his shield right there. Rumi doing the usual drop down from ledge to alleviate pressure and up B. But it didn't work that time. Um, Kupe will take his first off off of Rumi. Charizard at ledge. He's been taking uh, some flamethrower advice from uh, our resident Charizard named Lega Man, so he knows what he's doing uh, with Charizard sometimes. Huh? Uh, some people talking about me, and I don't know what they're saying. Probably hyping me up like they usually do. Um, he gets gimped somehow. Um, I looked away <laughs> for that. I think he got it hit with the down air and kind of traded something. Oh, he air dodged off stage yeah. by accident. He air dodged after getting hit by up. Beat. Oh, here's your instant replay machine, by the way. Instant replay, courtesy of just the stream in front of us <laughs> again on a phone. We got to show it for the viewers, so like we put it behind one of the player cams, um, and then just like playing tiny and behind somebody's <laughs> like, oh, there's the there's the replay. And then you get infinite replays just infinitely smaller. Or I could just buy a webcam and point it right at the phone. Maybe. Or we could just get a replay. <laughs> <laughs> or we could just get something to implement replays. All right, game two, going to Battlefield. I do not like this choice. Um, Mario can get like a, a B change. Chains, uh, but Ivysaur has the exact same things. And being able to land less against Ivysaur, it's able to juggle you so well. And the great projectile that is Razor Leaf, uh, being on, on top of a platform is Typically bad for Mario. Um, good thing Rumi likes to play Squirtle. Uh, helps him out a little bit. They're play basically playing the same character right now, except uh, Rumi doesn't have a spike. There's a rollback. Yes, uh. Do you think he chose this stage thinking he was going to be playing mostly Ivysaur versus him? Because no, so it's not Rumi's counter pick. It's just Koopo's counter pick. I mean, yeah, I meant, I meant Koopo. Uh, he probably just chose it out of comfort. I pick I, I pick uh, Battlefield all the time because. I like it in this game. It's not the best stage for my characters, um, but I like the game. I like the stage. I think it's pretty good. Yeah, I understand the comfort pick. Ooh, uh, up B's past ledge. Rumi holds his shield the entire time. He's able to punish Kuko's up B. A lot of times, people will drop shield if uh, Mario is going on ledge, just so they can, like the two frame punish. Um, but Rumi, he, he saw that uh, Kupo went past it the first time and punished him accordingly. Ooh, up he passed ledge for Rumi himself. Let's see. Up air, up air. Ooh, that F smash is doing great mileage there for Rumi. Let's see. Alright, now Mario Mar Mar got some in disadvantage. Up B, that up B is huge. Uh, for whatever reason, it always picks you up when you're next to it, even if it doesn't look like it hits you. And it has a small water box on it, so like, uh, if you get pushed up on ledge, you don't really ever get stage bike. You just get pushed past ledge. Uh, tries to go for a quick fair to take that stock. Um, Rumi too quick on the up B to punish it. Uh, that's it. Yeah, something like that. I mix up my words there, but it's fine. All right. And he got him off stage again. He tries going for the F smash. Ooh, that's scary. Uh, Squirtle's back throw, uh, unreasonably strong for a little turtle. But I guess he has a uh, quite a bit of power behind him. Ooh, catches a spot dodge. Um, he gets dropped out by the last step back here, so he doesn't hit. Sounds like you got a game or something. Ooh, uh, he usually uses flamethrower to switch with off of Charizard, but he actually got a hit, and that's a good 18% off of that. 
who tries to get the back throw back air. The back air has, like, no end lag. So if you're quick enough, you can sometimes combo. Um, Charizard's not the quickest character, so you can't really follow up, but you can just act so quickly. Right, back throw again. Ooh, and the back air so close. I don't even know if that was a strong hit. It was just right next to the edge. Rumi takes this set 2-0. That was game two? That was game two. Oh. Yeah, he went on PS2-1, game one.